Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, March 11, 2020. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Arnold Classic edition of Recap Wednesday, where we're starting off with William Bonac's huge win, which once again cemented his status as the second best bodybuilder on the planet. Coming in second was the ageless Dexter Jackson, who received the well-deserved standing ovation from the crowd at the end of the night. The good version of Big Ramy brought home third place along with the inaugural Franco Colombo Most Muscular Award. Coming in fourth was the supremely conditioned Steve Kuklo, and closing out the top five here in his first trip to Columbus as a competitor was Sergio Oliva Jr., who also took home the Best Poser Award. Moving on to the classic physique division now, where just as we predicted on last Wednesday's show, Alex Cabernero came in and took care of business on his way to earning the win. Second place went to Terrence Ruffin, whose conditioning was absolutely out of this world. And finishing a very respectable third place was the living statue himself, Steve Lorius, who came up a little short of bringing his best to the stage. In men's physique, the big headline came from our friend Andre Ferguson, who became the first man in the history of the division to pull off a three-peat. Coming in second was former Arnold and Olympia champ Brandon Hendrickson, who brought in the best overall look of his career. And closing out the top three with a really strong performance was veteran Stephen Cow. We're finishing up our men's coverage with the wheelchair bodybuilding division, where once again, Harold Kelly delivered the goods on his way to ringing up another easy win. Second place went to Sweden's Antoni Cadrio, and closing out the top three was veteran Bradley Betts. We're starting off our women's coverage with the physique division where Natalia Coelho completely hit one out of the park with her performance here as she cruised with decisive victory. And Lorraine Moe's second place effort was the most pleasant surprise of the entire night. So I guess we better look out for her to make some noise down the road this season. And closing out the top three was Margita Zamalova, who could have easily been second if you go back and look at what she brought to the pre-judging. Now let's jump right into the figure division, where it was all about Natalia Saltero. With no Sidney Gillen and no Latoria Watts, this was a huge opportunity for someone to step up and fill the void. And that's exactly what Natalia did here. Bojana Vasojevic blasted her way into second by bringing in the best conditioning of her career, which was enough to edge out eventual third place finisher Jessica Reyes Padilla. Over on the fitness side, Missy Truscott proved once again that she's an unstoppable force when she gets going, as she earned the biggest win of her career. Second place finisher Ariel Kadar's return to the big stage was as good as advertised, and sliding into third with a very entertaining routine was veteran Tiffany Chandler. Wrapping up our coverage for the weekend with the bikini division, which might have actually been a closer fought battle for the top three than the men's open when you break it all down. Coming out on top here was the reigning and defending Olympia champ Issa Passini, who gained a lot of momentum by grabbing the win here. The race for second was a dead heat between former Olympia champ Angelica Teixeira and defending Bikini International champ Janet Laig. And when the dust finally settled, Angelica managed to do enough in the finals to gain some separation, which forced Janet to slide back into the third place slot. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.